Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of production efficiency. We'll be breaking down this key concept that defines how goods can be produced at the lowest possible unit cost. You'll learn how it's calculated, its impact on revenues, and how it can be improved. We'll also tackle some common queries around this topic. So if you're part of a maintenance or operations team aiming to optimize resources and minimize waste, this video is just for you. So how do we look at production efficiency? Well, it usually comes into play when a system can no longer produce more goods without sacrificing the production of another related product. It's not just about measuring productivity levels, but also considering the amount of resources required for production. This approach allows companies to strike a good balance between minimizing costs and maximizing resources, all while maintaining a good quality of products. Now, let's talk about how to calculate production efficiency. It's done by comparing the actual output rate to a standard output rate. For instance, if we're measuring the productive efficiency of a worker, we would compare an employee's completion rate to the baseline standard. The standard output rate is defined as the amount of work that can be done per unit of time. This value can be measured using historical data or through a time study process. Now you might be wondering, how can we improve production efficiency? Well, it starts with being aware of your waste. This is particularly important for small businesses scaling up their operations while still using traditional production processes. A simple solution to viewing the improvement opportunities is by using CMMS software. Let's take the case of Rug Pros, a carpet cleaning company that used to manage their workflow with Excel sheets. After transitioning to a mobile-friendly CMMS, they were able to identify the inefficiencies of the old processes and realize the time and effort saved. So how can you increase production efficiency? Here are some key ways. First, improve workflows. Examine your current workflow and look for potential steps that can be simplified. Second, train employees. As technological advancements become more readily available, companies should find value in training employees. Knowledge and wisdom are valuable tools for getting rid of inefficiencies. Third, incorporate preventive maintenance processes. This way, the team is more effective at planning out resources ahead of time. And finally, be organized. This significantly cuts unnecessary movements and allows for a more efficient allocation of time to activities that actually matter. Before we wrap up, let's quickly address some frequently asked questions. How is optimal efficiency achieved in production? It's achieved by eliminating all waste from the production process as much as possible. What is inefficient production? It's the state of producing goods that uses more resources than required. How do companies measure efficiency? They measure efficiency by comparing the actual rate of output, like a worker, for example, to the standard or best practice rate of output. What is the difference between production efficiency and allocative efficiency? While both compare how closely the demands meet the outputs, they differ in the specific aspects of production that they describe. Production efficiency relates to whether a company has the right production processes in place to make goods with optimized costs. Allocative efficiency, on the other hand, refers to whether a company has the right amount of goods to meet demands. So there you have it. Production efficiency is a measure that describes the conditions to produce goods at the lowest possible cost. It doesn't just consider the number of units produced, but also how waste is minimized in the process. And while having an inefficient production line is not always obvious, tools such as a CMMS can help to paint a more accurate picture. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. We've covered the concept of production efficiency, how it's calculated, and ways to improve it. Remember, the key to success lies in minimizing waste and optimizing resources. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For additional resources and to learn more about how Upkeep can help your maintenance and operations teams, visit our website at upkeep.com.